Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a little bit of a different background. This is like a whole, I don't know, cabinet type system. I got this on Amazon and I don't know why I'm elaborating on it because I do plan on doing a perfume collection video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is where all my perfumes are in. Before, I had them just out in the open and I know a lot of you were like, girl, you need to put those away because that is how perfumes go bad is if you leave them out in the sunlight perfumes should be stored in a dark cool dry place so something like this that you can close is like perfect storage for them and i'm only talking about this because i wanted to ask you guys if you like this background or if you just prefer me on my usual background which is just sitting in front of my dresser let me know in the comments which background you like most but today we're actually talking about a brand new fragrance release so if you watch my new perfume releases video where i was talking about all the new releases and what perfumes i was thinking about getting this was was one of them honestly purely because of the bottle i think when i filmed that video i don't think the notes were out so i actually didn't even know what these were gonna smell like i actually picked this up at ulta i know it's also at sephora as well this is the brand new limited edition daisy love pop by mark jacobs here is what the beautiful bottle looks like. Honestly, this bottle is so cute. It's just like bubblegum Barbie pink with, of course, the Daisy signature flower as the cap. This collection is honestly a little bit confusing because even when I was at the store, I was like, okay, which is which? Because there's actually three perfumes in this line, but they all smell different but they look very very similar and even the names are so hard to differentiate so in this line you have daisy pop then you have daisy pop oh so fresh which looks pretty much the same and then you have daisy love pop the love pop is the one that i got pretty much the only difference like bottle wise this one has like the round bottle and then the other two have more square rectangular looking bottles but it's just really confusing honestly because the names are like the same but like a little bit different the bottles are the same but a little bit different so when i was at the store i was like which is which i had no interest in the other two after smelling them not only for the reason of them being just like fresh honestly kind of boring fragrances but i did smell daisy pop not the oh so fresh because i had a tester of it and i was like this smells exactly like the original daisy i just didn't really see that big of a difference so those two in my opinion for me were not worth it this is the only one that seemed a little bit different now i actually ended up blind buying this which is really annoying because at my Ulta, they only had the tester for the Daisy Pop. They didn't have the testers for the other two, but I knew that this was the one that I was most likely gonna love because of the notes, which we're gonna get into because this one has some pretty delicious notes. But as per usual, I also have some thoughts. With all that being said, before we get into it, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn post notifications on and let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I do have thoughts on this and I feel so bad because I feel like the last few perfume release videos that I've done dedicated reviews to, like the most recent one that I did for Black Opium Over Red and even I think before that, there's just been a lot of new releases that I go and buy with such high hopes because the notes seem right up my alley and then i get it and i'm just like so so disappointed and i'm not gonna lie for this one i am disappointed i don't mean to like be negative in all these videos but i have to keep it real and i have to let you guys know what's worth your money and what's not judging by the notes i thought this was gonna be so so good and i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's something that's worth spending my money on when my collection looks like this and i know you're gonna say well if you have all those perfumes you don't need any new perfume and i know but no i'm still gonna buy perfume but i mean by that is when i bring in new perfumes i bring them in thinking that they're going to stand out in my collection each of the perfumes that are in here right now are all different and bring something new to the table so although i have so many it's not like they're all the same and that is where this fall short for me so let's get into the notes because that's what really drew me into this perfume and why i thought this was going to be like the best perfume ever because lately 
I have been super into pistachio note. One of my favorite perfumes ever is Kiali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I actually recently just bought a backup of it. That's how in love I am with that perfume, which is right there. But yeah, I'm not even done with that, but I'm going through it so fast that I was like, I have to get a backup. So... I say that to say what drew me into buying this perfume was the fact that this also has pistachio and just really creamy, delicious notes in it. And when I looked on Fragrantica on which perfumes this was compared to, I did see Kayali Young Pistachio pop up. So I was thinking for this to be like somewhat of a different version to Kayali Young Pistachio, but that pistachio was still there and whipped creamy and delicious. That's what I was hoping. But is that what I really got? I don't know. Okay, so the notes in Daisy Love Pop are top notes of cloudberry and bergamot, middle notes of pistachio and whipped cream, and base notes of benzoin and musk. So although they're not the most elaborate notes ever, the notes sounded so good. First of all, cloudberry. I have no idea what that is, but it looks really delicious and I'm a huge sucker for berry notes. So that was kind of like a unique note that I was like, okay, I've never seen this in perfumes. So maybe this is bringing something new. Obviously the middle notes, I love the pistachio and the whipped cream. I love whipped cream, creamy, sweet, sugary notes, obviously. And then also the pistachio I've been a huge fan of lately. The base notes are pretty like standard, I don't know, benzoin and musk. It's like not much to talk about. And then in the perfume reminds me of category, like I said, I did see Yum Pistachio Gelato. I also saw Eau Gourmand Abre Vigny by Laura Mercier, which that is such a sought after perfume because I think it was limited edition or maybe it wasn't and it just got discontinued. And I know many people love that. I have it in my collection because I lucked out a few years ago and found it at like TJ Maxx and I'm obsessed with it. So so seeing all these perfumes that I'm really, really, really huge fans of, I was hoping to get so much out of this perfume and that's why I took the risk and blind bought it. But let's get into what it actually smells like. I don't mean to sound completely negative in this video as in like, this is just a bad perfume because I don't think it is. It's pretty. I had my husband smell it and he was like, I actually really, really like that. He, he thought it smelled really good because it's just like a girly, standard, pretty, sweet, scent. I do smell the whipped cream in it. I don't really smell the pistachio. Definitely not as much as I do in Kaeli Yum Pistachio and that's another thing I'll say. I don't find this similar to Yum Pistachio even in the slightest. I do smell a lot of the original Daisy by Marc Jacobs, which I know it's like a cult favorite fragrance. A lot of people love and have worn that perfume for years. So if that's like your signature perfume, that's great. For me, I've always smelled it and I've never been impressed. I've just always thought it was just like, you know, a standard, nice, girly perfume. But it was just never for me. It never stood out to my nose, I guess. I feel like this one is so similar to the original Daisy with just like a little tweak in that it has a little bit more creaminess, a bit more sweetness, maybe a touch of pistachio. I wouldn't call this a phenomenal, absolutely amazing, unique fragrance because it is far from it, but it's nice. And that's kind of it for me. If you're into sweet, girly, a little bit floral kind of fragrances, even though this one doesn't even have any florals, which is actually nice if you're not into florals, but although there is like no floral notes listed in this, I do get a floral vibe because it reminds me a lot of the original Marc Jacobs Daisy, which has a good bit of florals. I wish that they had a tester of this perfume at the store because if I had smelled it, I would have not bought this perfume. Unfortunately, I took the leap of faith and I blind bought it only because the notes were so delicious. And like I said, I'm obsessed with pistachio notes lately and it's not really giving that. I'm not really sure what people are thinking about this. If you guys have picked it up, let me know. I'm sorry for yet another disappointing review. I don't mean to be disappointed by these perfumes. If anything, Obviously, I'm spending my money on these. I hope that they're gonna be good and they just haven't. I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm just like really, really picky and strict with what I bring in. I just don't love this. I like it, it's nice, but it's one of those scents that I know if I brought this into this very massive collection that I have, it would be one of those scents that would just sit in the corner collecting dust and then eventually I would declutter and put up all my Mercari. And of course, we have to conclude this with longevity. First of all, I have tested the original Daisy by Marc Jacobs on me and I never found that perfume to last that long. 
this is even worse this literally lasts on me like two hours i've been wearing it for the past couple days and while i enjoy it in the moment after literally like two three hours max and i have been over spraying it i just don't smell it like it's like maybe lightly there first of all it's not like a projecting scent it's not a philip room kind of scent which is not a bad thing i mean a lot of people actually prefer a softer scent so that's what this is it's softer and it just doesn't last i feel like after a while it just gets maybe like a skin scent and then it completely just is gone those are my final thoughts on daisy love by mark jacobs we have yet another new perfume release that is a disappointment let me know if you guys have found all these new perfume releases disappointing again to some extent i don't think that any of the scents that i've tried lately have been bad but they're just not mind-blowing to me and if any of you are experiencing that right now let me know in the comments because i feel like i'm in this like perfume rut where i just love what i love and everything new that i'm trying out i'm just like i've smelled this before or it's just not really doing it for me i haven't seen any reviews on this so i don't know what people are thinking maybe people are loving this and i'm just like the odd one out but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know about this background too should i keep my usual background or should i film my videos now in front of my perfume collection i will see you guys in my next video bye